Today is the big day in America. Today is election day. Certainly, for most Americans, there is a common view that simply says this, I'm so ready to get this over and behind me. Well, let me tell you something, my friend. I can agree. However, there is a question that sticks in the back of my mind, and here is the question. Here it is. Lean in. What will our country be like six months from today? Now, I know that some people are saying everything is riding on today. Friends, it is true that our president determines the destiny in some ways of what's going on locally and also nationally. But friend, I want you to know this. It's God who determines our future. Psalm 146 verses 3 through 5 says it this way, and I quote, Put not your trust in princes or in a son of man in whom there is no salvation. When his breath departs, he returns to the earth. On that very day, he perishes. But here's what we should do. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Now listen to this, who hope, whose hope is in the Lord his God. As a follower of Christ, I, I believe this today, on this election day, Jesus Christ sits enthroned in heaven at the right hand of God the Father. Psalm 146 and 10 reads this way, the Lord will reign forever. You see, this is our unshakable hope for those who know the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, please allow this to remain for just a moment in your mind and in your heart. You see, the Lord will reign forever because he is on the throne. I can, and you can have an unshakable hope that leads us to live an unshakable life. So no matter what the results of the election will be tonight, early the next morning, or maybe even the next day, our hope is unshakably in the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, because of this very truth of Jesus, I want to spend this month of November in our time in the Word broadcast focusing on the unshakable life that God empowers His people, that's right, His people, those who, know, those who know His Son Jesus, to live our lives. As a first step in this first broadcast, let's set our minds on the light Jesus brings to our lives as we read His Word and obey His directions as given by the Holy Spirit. Here's our theme verse, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 5. Listen to what this truth of this verse says. For you are all children of light, children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness, end quote. People who do not know the Lord, friend, are according to scripture, children of the night. Such people never know what's coming in the day and they're not prepared for all the dark implications of living in the night. So let's think about this. It is true that many Americans are this day living in the night, but for those of us who know Jesus, the light has given us a clear path to follow. And here is the path. Listen in carefully. Do not place your trust in leaders of nations. Place your trust in one leader, Jesus Christ. Yes, instead of spending your nights in fear and your days in frustration, trust in Him. And when you do, I promise you, according to the Word of God, that your life is much better in the daylight than in the darkness without God. So friend, it is election day, but more importantly, in eternity, it's God's day and you're on God's team.